What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Your new subscribers, I'm Barbas. Today we're at Sheldon's house because we have a little surprise to show you guys. Sheldon's about to reveal something for the channel and he's gonna go ahead and explain everything that comes with this little something. So what you got? So what we got here is a How to Kill It 550. Um, after talking to Barbas and his goals, I recommended this ECU. It's not a viable solution now since Haltech um, po they ported all of the all of the features from the double connector ECU to the single connector ECUs. So this is basically a smaller brother to what's in my WRX. So I, at the price point, it, it made sense just to go with something like this as opposed to a Honda because the price point on this is like seven hundred and fifty dollars retail. Um, as opposed to the Honda, which would run up to about $800. And this has a lot more functionality than the Honda. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna start populating all the pins for the ECU and we'll kind of go through what each one of the pins does, the functions, and we'll in theory make a base map for the, ECU, for the car. Um, so once we get the intercooler stuff done, we can basically just plug this in and then we should have a running car. This is the part number, if anybody's interested. HT-150-400. This is for Haltech Elite 550. So tell us what we get in the box when we buy this item. So obviously we get the ECU itself. Excuse my son. Um, we get the ECU. We get the USB cable for communications to the, to the laptop. And so you could represent. You also get a cool sticker. We also have this cool flash drive that all, that comes with all of the Haltech software built, built on it. So you can install it onto your computer. We also have a quick start guide that kind of goes through all the features of the ECU. What all of the the grouping of the, all of the inputs and outputs so here it gives you crank trigger ignition analog voltage inputs injectors so it basically gives you an overlay of the ECU and we also have over here kind of like a wiring right diagram which is what we're going to use when wiring the ECU for the Honda Civic so we also have because we bought that package we also got the connector with the pins so what we're going to do is we're going to put some wire onto these we're going to populate all of the cavities that we're going to need for Barbara's car and on another video we're then going to splice it into his stock harness so we're going to run both the factory ECU and the Haltech simultaneously. It's not going to be in piggyback mode, it's going to be parallel. Um, most people get this con confused uh, with piggyback and parallel. Um, parallel is we're going to use the Haltech to power everything for the engine, and the stock ECU is only going to be there for stuff like fans, air condition, and everything else. So we're not using all of the inputs and outputs of the Haltech to run stuff like basic stuff that it doesn't need to so that's how it's going to be wired in it's going to be a parallel installation make sure you guys are smacking that like button because this is gold if you guys want us to make a video on how to wire this into a civic let's say you guys are building the same civic setup that i have and you guys want to know exactly how to wire this go ahead and smack that like button so we could go ahead and get that video uploaded for you guys also
block button. Bitches that that like button.